Hey guys, what's going on? Garen from G Tactics Protection here at Zinc Arms again with Mr. Rockoff Johnson. And we're here just having a little small discussion. So we were like, you know what, let's make a quick video on it. You know, in the state of Maryland, which a lot of these other states are going to too, is in the state of Maryland, we are not allowed as a firearm shop or anything to sell you more than a 10 round, mag uh, 10 round magazine but you are not capped at 10 rounds. What that entails is pretty much in the state of Maryland, if you're not law enforcement, security, private detective, something like that, all we can technically give you is a 10 round magazine or maybe a magazine kit. But the way the law is written is that you have, if you want bigger than 10 round magazines, you are supposed to actually drive out of state, go out of state wherever, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Delaware, whatever. Even though Delaware really can't do it either no more. But Pennsylvania, Virginia, you go out of those state, go to those states, you can buy those bigger magazines and own them and have them, use them, carry them with you and everything. The problem in that in lies that a lot of people and a lot of instructors are telling people that, no, you get these 10 round magazines, that's all you can have and that's all you're allowed to use, which is completely false. Sorry to say it like that, but it's completely false. You're allowed to have the bigger magazines. You're allowed to use those bigger magazines. We, just as a firearm shop, are not allowed to give them to you, which is absolutely stupid considering how much money and taxes and everything the state loses out on. But, you know, I can't argue it. It's, or we can argue it. We've been fighting it. We've been talking about it, but no leeway, pretty much. The state misses out on so much opportunity of extra revenue because the, who gets the taxes? The state. If I got people coming in here looking for 10, for 12, 13, 15, 17, 18 round magazines, I might have them in stock for the few PIs, law enforcement and everything that comes in here, but I can't give it to the regular citizen, which sucks on my behalf because there's money being lost out in the shop, but it's also Affecting customers is affecting the general public because now they can't get what they want without having to take a damn long ass drive. And I mean, Pennsylvania, Virginia is not far away, but when you're day off where you just chilling and want to have fun, go straight to the range. Who's got time or patience for that shit? But yeah, the whole thing with, oh, you can only have a 10 round magazine, you can only use a 10 round magazine is completely full of shit. Y'all see multiple guns I carry, multiple guns I use, everything. Even Mr. Rockoff Johnson, he has his carry gun. None of us carry less than 10 rounds. Everything we carry is more than 10 rounds. I don't know a single person except for maybe a few that come in here every now and then. They carry their 10 round magazines. Unless their gun just cannot own bigger than that. But it's just absolutely asinine. But I don't leave the house with less than 15. What I have on my hip now is 17 plus one. My spare magazine is a 20 rounder. The other gun I've been carrying, which you guys know, the Springfield Echelon, that gun is a, a 18 round flush fit or 17. 18. And then I have my the 22 round magazine as a backup. Even with some of my other guns are 15 and 17 rounds. Yes, y'all gonna say, like I said, I'm a PI, I can have him. You're a civilian, you can have him. Mr. Rockoff Johnson is not a PI, he's not security, none of that. Guess what, it's 100% legal for him to have it. What would you do to change the law? What I would do to change the law? If it was up to me? Let people carry what the f they wanna carry. If you want an 18 round magazine, carry your 18 round magazine. If you wanna walk around, I'm not gonna say walk around with a damn, uh, 100 round drum magazine or 50 round drum magazine. That's excessive, stupid and everything. But if you can easily conceal 18, 20 rounds with a, without a problem, carry it. Because if you look at most of these situations where people work in a, say, liquor store or any kind of store like that that might have the potential of getting robbed or even, hell, clothing stores, 10 rounds is not gonna do much of shit for most people when it's groups of people running in these stores to steal stuff or rob them or anything else. Uh, I actually saw an incident the other night where 10 rounds wouldn't have did nothing because most people, most civilians, even though they go get their carry permit, I'd say only 
30% of people actually keep up on their training and to be accurate in those situations. But say these guys were able to have their carry permits and had to use it from being actively robbed. 10 rounds, they might have emptied a magazine in them and freaking out on how to reload or anything and might not have hit a damn thing. Where even say they were perfect and got, or not perfect, but they got seven, eight rounds on one target. But they want adrenaline's going, they want drugs, anything like that. Okay, you got seven rounds into them, you got three rounds left. Now you gotta still try to put them down. And if, I don't know if you guys have ever seen anybody high on PCP or anything like that. You got somebody high on that coming at you, 10 rounds ain't gonna be enough. Even with a great cinematic shots. There's studies that's been out there that I hold 30 foot roll thing of even with somebody just charging at you. 30 feet, you might draw your gun and get three, four, five, your whole magazine into them. But they're still gonna make it to you to cut you or whatever. I would change the law. I would love the law to be changed, but these politicians need to stop trying to tell us what we need and what's best for us as civilians, considering our problems aren't their problems. Why are our problems not their problems? They're walking around with security 24 seven. I don't have a security guard on my back, watching my back every day. I doubt 90% of y'all do. Who's the, who are, is there to protect us? Cause it's not the police. It takes them anywhere from four to 20 minutes to respond to anything. We're learning to use guns, we're working, we're training to use firearms, knives, hand to hand, everything for to be our own first responder. I don't have time to wait for the police. One big thing that a lot of people, I always mention it, but I'm dead serious. You guys, if you haven't practiced some kind of hand to hand, judo, jiu jitsu, Muay Thai, something, you need to learn. That's gonna be your first form of self-defense before anything, but yeah, Stop letting these politicians rule over everything we say. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, that's another thing that Mr. Johnson, Rocco Johnson, just brought to my attention is some of these gun companies, because of being so restrictive with the 10 round magazine capacity, like coming to Maryland and everything, people order their guns, ship them in. I had a gentleman the other day order a gun, Rock Island Armory, uh, Baby Rock, 1911-45. It's 10 rounds. Okay, great that it's 10 rounds of 45 ACP. But just because it's a 10 round state, you only sent him one damn magazine. Which I know Rock Island only is big on just one magazine, but for the money you're paying for these guns and everything, why the hell are you sending me only one magazine? And it's making sure it's a 10 round. Palm or no mags, like a certain company, Palmetto, you, they'll ship guns to customers and everything and not tell them, granted, it's, now it's in the fine print on their website, but you'll send people whole guns with no magazines because it's supposed to come with bigger than a 10 round magazine. If you're not gonna send them magazines, give them money off of the damn gun. That's part of the cost of the gun. Sending them magazines, no magazines, that's just jacked up. You're taking money from people and everybody works hard for their money. Well, not everybody, but most people work hard as shit for their money. I understand if it's, uh, so in, with the state, like I said, 10 round magazines if they're civilians and everything, it's not up to y'all, y'all don't have to worry about it or, and I'm saying this as in reference to the manufacturers, distributors and everything, y'all don't have to worry about if, are you shipping a 10 round magazine or anything. It's our responsibility at the shop to decide whether we're gonna give them the ma bigger magazine or not, or if we're gonna pin it, or how we're gonna deal with it so that it only accepts 10 rounds. Stop not sending people their mags when and you're not giving them money off of it. Give them their damn mags. Let them be happy because it's my decision on how I'm going to handle it. Stop screwing people over. And that's all I got to say about that one, I'm sorry. I know that sounds like a little bit of a tirade, but it annoys the shit out of me because guns will come in and people will automatically think I'm just not giving them their mags when the damn company just didn't ship it to you. Sorry, I can't do about it, but yeah, for God, for your, what the hell, I need to eat or something. Uh, but for now, guys, that's about it. I appreciate y'all. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Even if you don't, if you don't like it, hit the like button three times. I appreciate it. Holla at y'all later with the next one. See. You.